three-step lead at first. Again, the check on him, and they may have him picked off. The throw over to shortstop, McKeithen has it. He will tag out Riley, who is out. So he'll go one to three to six. 40 games. A lot of records will be crushed after this year. Anderson crushes this one down the right field line. If it's got the height, it's gone, and it is. Steve Anderson hits a solo home run in the bottom of the fourth, and it gives the Newport Goals a one to nothing lead. Steve Anderson hits number three, picks up his 23 RBI, 23rd RBI, and Anderson puts the Newport Goals on top here in the fourth inning. Blotcher will have to no throw another 3-2 pitch here to Perret. Here it comes. It's hit high and deep to right field. Heading back, Alex Balduck. He's looking up, and it's gone. <laughs> Matt Perret hits a two-out, two-run home run for the goals, winning a lengthy battle with Frank Balacha, and it gives Newport a 3 to nothing lead. Well, Mark, you said you couldn't keep these goals bats quiet for long as Matt Perret hits a 3-2 pitch. Out of the 28 foot high fence and right, number five for Matt who picks up RBI 16 and 17 in Newport. As their biggest lead of the night. Goals Chuck Pava, Baldock grounds this one to short. On to second for one, they try and turn two and it is in time. The goals turn a 6-4-3 double. Now they're ready. The 0-2 pitch from Caleb Kellogg. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. And the Newport Gulls have defeated the, the Bedford Bay Sox on the shutout here at Cardines Field. Six pitchers combined, they shut out the Bay Sox, three to nothing, and the Gulls improve to a franchise second best, 31 and 10 on the season.